I think a lot with houses is, is what you look to in rooms. It's sitting in a room and looking out that's interesting rather than looking into a room and seeing what it looks like. For me, coming through the door in a wall is magical into a garden. And I rather like the idea of walking straight into the kitchen. It's like being in the country, you walk straight into the kitchen. I love all the stuff. I love shopping, so I like the things that you buy to add to it and bring it together. You know, I have fond memories of shopping with my mother. I definitely found the magic in that with her. And the people in the house, that's why you want your house to be nice, is it's somewhere that you want to be and you want to bring people to, and it's that people want to sit and stay. I do like things that are handmade. Things that are well made just always feel better. You can feel when things are well designed too because the proportions are right. The chair is comfortable. The, it, it, things feel right and feel comfortable and feel calm when they're well made and well designed. So the first thing that drew me to this rug in particular was really the palette and how neutral it is, strangely. I find all of these colours to go with almost anything, that, that green particularly, which I find very easy, but it was the colours that, that I loved and then the pattern. One of the things about rugs that I find is the size is really important. I think you want to really make sure that it fills the space well. So I think the best advice is to leave space. You can't design it all in one go. You don't want to install a room and it be finished. Rooms do take time to settle and they definitely take time to evolve. And when you're putting a room together, there's always the odd thing that comes in that makes it work. So letting things evolve and leaving gaps, I think is a very good piece of advice.